Hello, I'm Jerry Huntley, President and CEO of the Vinyl Signing Institute. I'd like to talk to you today about solar reflection and heat distortion. Our industry's vinyl signing is designed for normal exposure to the sun and high summertime temperatures, but when subjected to abnormal conditions, it can, like other materials, become damaged. As the trade association representing manufacturers of vinyl and other polymeric siding and suppliers to the industry, we believe that only focusing on the damage being done to our products tells half a story. If you understand the cause of that damage, it can be avoided or prevented from occurring again. Energy efficient windows are double or even multi-paned to insulate our homes from both cold and warm weather. Special low E coatings are used to reflect more sunlight and keep it from raising the indoor temperature. By design, the glass is flexible enough to adjust as it accommodates a difference in barometric pressure. This way, as temperatures change outside, inside, and between the panes, the glass doesn't shatter. According to a 2010 report published by the National Association of Home Builders, this can create a concavity in the glass, which may focus sunlight reflected from the window in a fashion similar to the effect seen when light passes through a magnifying glass. The solar energy that's collected by the window and then transferred by this concentrated beam of sunlight is able to raise the temperature of objects it strikes to well in excess of 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Anything in the path that can't withstand the intense heat of this reflection will be damaged. NAHB listed a range of materials reported damaged by reflected sunlight, including painted surfaces, wood discoloration and charring, decking, pool covers, window lineals, trim, and, yes, vinyl siding. Certified vinyl siding is manufactured and verified to meet or exceed the long-standing, accepted industry standard for quality. In other words, it will withstand a wide range of environmental conditions, from 110 mile per hour wind pressures to the hottest day of the hottest summer. However, vinyl siding cannot withstand artificially produced heat at unnatural temperatures, be it from a barbecue positioned against the house or an intense beam reflecting off the neighbor's window. The result from such exposure distorts the vinyl siding. As many have described the phenomenon, it appears to melt the cladding. But it's a very rare occurrence. The chances of siding distortion happening on any given house are extremely small. Vinyl siding is the most popular choice of exterior cladding and has been for more than 15 years. There are literally tens of millions of houses sided with vinyl. Only a tiny percentage of those houses have been affected by exposure to concentrated sunlight reflected from windows because a very narrow set of conditions needs to come together in order to cause the problem. If a home hasn't been affected in the past, it is not likely to be affected in the future. This might change, however, if the homeowner or neighbor replaces an existing window with one more likely to concentrate the sunlight, or if something that once blocked the sunlight is removed. It's a freakish phenomenon. New energy efficient windows turning the sun's rays into laser like beams. Windows like these at the Vidara Hotel in Las Vegas are designed to reflect sunlight to cut cooling costs. But we watched as the intense reflection melted this plastic cup. It's not just big buildings. Some homeowners complain that their neighbor's efficient double pane windows can act like a magnifying glass, melting their vinyl siding. I can feel the burning the back of my hand. The Vinyl Siding Institute points out the extraordinary reflected heat can damage all sorts of surfaces, not just siding. And the Window and Door Association says it is studying the phenomenon. Simply replacing distorted vinyl siding is not a permanent solution since the cause of the damage has not been addressed. 
without any effort to interrupt the path or diffuse the intensity of the reflection, the damage is likely to come back again and again and again. But according to that NAHB report, there are some very simple measures that can be taken to diffuse the intensity of that concentrated beam of light. Anything that blocks the path of sunlight, either to the window or between the window and the siding, will eliminate or reduce the problem. This includes the strategic placement of trees, bushes, or other landscaping elements, putting a screen on the window, or hanging an awning. Homeowners can also contact the builder, contractor, or manufacturer of the windows to address their specific situation. For a better understanding of solar reflection and heat distortion, please visit www.vinylsigning.org. The Vinyl Signing Institute is regularly updating our FAQ page based on questions we see from builders, remodelers, homeowners, and the media and you'll have access to the most up-to-date technical information available, including the National Association of Home Builders report. We hope that this video has helped you understand solar reflection and heat distortion.